hello lovelies welcome back to my channel thank you all for being here and tuning in i want to say good and heartfelt warm welcome to all my new subscribers you will not regret it and to all my old subscribers thank you so much for sticking with me please kindly like this video click on the notification subscribe and click on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever i post a new video so today this video is just about the best way to make your carrot oil so as to get the utmost benefit from the carrot so without much ado let's dive straight right into the video so i've grated my carrots i have about uh two to three let me just say two and a half because the third one was quite small fingers of carrot grated them and i'm going to put the entire carrots into my blender when i put that into my blender i'm going to add oils only just oils uh, the oils i'll be adding is uh, the uh, almond oil grapeseed oil and a little bit of coconut oil a little tiny tiny bit i'm using coconut oil because coconut oil helps with the treatment of white spots and stretch marks so while you're using your carrot oil for lightening you can as well use it to treat others as well so my cup measurement is 250 mils that's what i'm using to measure my oils and uh, at the point after I poured the oil inside the carrots in the blender, I realized that I needed more oil. So I added about a hundred mils of glycerin. Glycerin, yes. So you will get the maximum effect of moisturizing from the carrot oil. So yeah, my oil is going into my carrots in the blender. Then yeah shaking it <laughs> and i realized oh my god I'm... so if you don't want to use glycerin that's totally fine okay but you just increase your oil you can put you know but you don't have to put too much oil honestly because you don't want the oil to overwhelm the benefits and the nutrients from the carrot itself okay so that's my glycerin uh, 100 ml of that and I put it directly into the blender as well, stir properly, and I'm going to blend that properly as well. Blend everything all up, and it will be like almost into a puree form, not 100% puree, but almost like a puree form, and that will release all the nutrients and benefits from the carrot directly into the oils. And with that, we have liquid in this oil now so because of this liquid we're going to put uh, some heat on the carrot to separate and evaporate the moisture the liquid from the oils okay so stay tuned and there i am pouring my contents into my pan and i'll make sure i put my heat on the lowest of the lows yeah that's high and this is low so i'm gonna turn my heat down to the low because it's gonna boil but not for a long time my target is to make it boil for at least a minimum of three to five minutes i have to monitor it three to five minutes okay while stirring and just paying attention to see the oil and the carrot separate trust me it will be very obvious when they separate and then you know it's time to take it down but please do not let it boil for too long if it's boiling too much you can take it off the fire let it cool for a bit and put it back on the fire okay all right so here i am stirring stirring just to make sure none gets stick stuck to the pan okay now this is one minute on the fire you can see there's already a separation taking place and some boiling just one minute and yeah this is three minutes into 
cooking the carrot. You can see it's really, really boiling. My fire is still on the low. Yeah, it's ready to be taken down. Trust me. I just boiled it for four minutes. That was all I needed, four minutes. That's why I said three to five minutes could be in between. And mine was four minutes. So yeah, I am trying to strain the oils. In the shaft, I'm going to press with my uh, wooden stick, wooden spatula. And when I do that, I'm still going to make sure I squeeze the shaft in my in my chiffon clothes. But I have to wait for the shaft to get cool. <laughs> I don't want to get my fingers burnt. So I'm just pressing it with my wooden spatula. Then after a while when in school, I'll use the cloth. Now you can see there's a separation that has happened. Okay, the oil isn't cool yet, but a separation, a very, very clear separation. What you have down there is a mixture of water and glycerin. Water from the carrot. So I let that cool for about two minutes. Okay, so I can work with it to get more separation. Now, I'm going to pour the whole thing in a pot again, in my pan again. The whole thing. I could have done it in, uh, at once when I took it out of the fire, but I needed you guys to see the separation, just to see the mush content of liquid, liquid that is in the carrot oil. So you see, I'm shaking all that. <laughs> I'm putting everything. Trust me, there's a good reason for that. So yeah, it's all mixed up. And I pour it all back, right back into the pan. And I put it on the fire again. Once again, low heat. Low heat. And I'm going to let that steam cook for, say, uh, about two minutes. Not more than that. We don't want to kill the nutrients in the carrot. We need the real nutrients, like enough of it. Why else are we using it if we don't want the nutrients, right? So I'm going to let that sit on the stove for like two minutes, not more. And as you can see, it was already warm in the first place. So it didn't take long for it to start cooking and separating again. And most of the liquid got evaporated. And yeah, I put the oils, take it down from the stove. And um, I'm going to take the oils out. This time I'm going to make sure the liquid doesn't get mixed up with the oils all right so you just wash carefully and see what i do slowly without trying to without you know shaking my hands too much you can see a visible effect of the liquid and the oil like a visible separation oops <laughs> i almost put some liquid in there but never mind, I'll tell you what we'll do about that. So now this is the oil I have left in my pan with so much liquid and less oil. I'm going to take sort of a spoon to sort of filter like from the top and just take the oils. But then when it gets too close to the liquid, I'll just leave it alone. Yes, there are going to be some oils left on top of the liquid, but that's not a problem. Now, that liquid we have left in the pan with the oil, that is the one you can use with your soap. Black soap, mulatto soap, liquid soap. But make sure, I repeat, make sure you put a very good amount of preservative in whatever soaps you use it for. Okay? Yeah. That contains a lot of that are like huge amount of nutrients as well honestly i would even say there's even more nutrients in that than the oil to be honest yeah so our oil is ready it's quite uh still warm i'm gonna let it sit for a while to cool into room temperature then i'll add a teeny few drops this is a, a 500 ml bottle so the oil i have there is 250 ml per se because remember some of them are the been left in the pan so it's about 250 ml thereabout let's just say 250 ml i'm going to add a 
there's not much liquid in the oil in the bottle so i'm just going to add about 20 to 15 drops of preservative just to be on the safe side so our oil will have a very long shelf life say about a year or more and so there you have it that's the best way to get your carrots make your carrot oil and reap a tremendous amount of nutrients benefit from your carrot oil i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're able to learn something and um please like i repeat do not forget to subscribe like my video and share my video thank you all and stay tuned for my next video coming up soon bye